Now here, Fano, we've got uh, Illegal Music's new prodigies. Mixed frequencies, how it's going? How's it going, boys? Good, good. Too much, too much. So um, tell us, how did mixed frequencies come about? Basically because we just like we have different styles, we mix different opinions and some things. Mm -hmm. We yeah, different styles of music. But there's one music that we do love and that's hip hop. That's yeah. the mm -hmm. one boys, that's the one. And how did you guys come up with your guys' names? Because it's Quest and Marvel? Yeah. Oh Marvel, I just love superheroes. I Dude, love... I'm in the same boat! <laughs> <laughs> I am all about old flash. He's my favourite. Mm. Yeah. Uh, for the Captain America. Oh, that's not, that's <laughs> not, that's <laughs> what about you, my bro? I mean, actually, my real name is Question. Yeah. Yeah, it's about K W E S T I A N. So I give a year from there. Because everyone just calls me Quest, my nickname, so yeah. That's pretty cool. That's low key, really cool, actually. Now we're to Fano. What we're going to do now is we're going to check out their wire to Norida. Mataki Taki Mai. Now that's the first time that that song has been played on TV. Yeah. How does it feel, bro, to know that your, te your, your song's on TV? Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> oh, you guys deserve it, bro. That was yeah. epic. That was really tight. So tell us about the song Breathe. How did you guys come up with that one? Uh, basically what it means is that every day when we wake up or go to sleep, we just breathe hip-hop in and out. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah? That's what it means, yeah. And why hip-hop? Where did the love for hip-hop come from? Um, well, uh... Because 
Marvel's mum actually managed my dad's hip hop group. Oh yeah? yeah. Yeah, and one day we were just watching them in the garage, watching them perform, and we were like, oh yeah, we want to get into this, we want to do it. And, mm. Yeah. And we, my dad chucked us in the booth for writing. Yeah. That's where the magic happened. Yeah. Yeah. Is your, tell us now, is your dad a bit jealous that you guys got signed before he did? <laughs> tell the truth. Yeah, 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 a little bit. No. <laughs> it's all right, Papa, we love you, Dad. Got your back, Dad, always. Now, you know, it's always cool doing stuff like video clips and that sort of thing. What was it like for you guys? It was fun. Yeah? Just heaps of fun. Happy yeah. smiles. Again. Waking up early. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't like waking up in the <laughs> <laughs> no, Not my thing. Bro, who doesn't, bro? Yeah. <laughs> who doesn't? Now, um, the girls in the clip, do you guys know them or were they just people that come in? Are they actually your girlfriends? No. no, no That's no. the one. See? All our ladies, they are single men now. <laughs> Dad, you got to watch out now. These boys, they're going to be sorted after. They're, all, they're on TV. <laughs> now, um, who would you guys compare your guys selves to? Like in the music industry, who do you guys want to be like? Uh, I'm like, he says that I'm like um, Kanye West. Yeah? Did you sort of look like Kanye West? Do you? Oh, Kanye's been doing that. No, no. Yeah. I can use like Daisy. Oh, too much. Now, over here, we've got their like label slash management, the bro mark, aka Patriarch. How did you guys, how did you get the boys? Basically, these, these kids have been hounding me for a while now. Um, I saw. Young Marvel at uh, a KRS one um, lecture, yeah. and he comes, yo, Mark, comes up to me, introduces himself and whatnot. But um, I got to actually see them um, at Woody's uh, nightclub, but it was a day concert. Their mum, who's uh, who's the manager, yeah. got me to come in and have a look at them um, perform live. So I brought, brought my producer Knox, went and checked them out, and these guys were amazing. So we're like, now nah, we got to get them in the studio. We need to make it happen. This is the future of hip hop right here. So. I'm really, you know, really proud of them. Oh, of course, my bro. What was it like? Was it like first time you heard them? It was like boom, straight away, just caught I've, your attention. I've actually been following these guys for a little while because, you know, it's part of my job as an A&R in the legal to, um, just to to look out and scout talent. Yeah. Um, these guys, when they wrote that song, they were living, um, at, and, and they were at, they were <laughs> shut up, show off, say <laughs> show offs. So these guys um, have had done a few uh, performances, and, and there was a couple of um, online. Um, Vids, yep. which I used to watch and go, I'm going to keep an eye out for these, for these kids. Um, but the time came where I felt was there's a need to actually, yep. you know, re, uh, re-energise New Zealand hip-hop. So I said, man, we need these kids to come and show, uh, show the people how it's done. Yep. Yeah. Well, bro, mad props to you for getting the boys and mad props All to the boys. Awesome. Love your work. Now, 